Second diagram we have reads, Alani couldn't understand how Cooper seemed oblivious to Mr. Marsh's baloney smell. All right. So here is our noun or our nominal clause. Starts off with the word how, has a subject and a verb, and you can kind of hear this makes a little mini sentence. Cooper seemed oblivious to Mr. Marsh's baloney smell. And then structurally, as I kind of get ready to build this thing, change it my color, um, that I can see the line is my subject, could on or could not understand is my verb, and then this must be my direct object because it tells us Alani could understand what. So when I build this, I know as I build it closer to the bottom that I'm going to have a space for Alani, a space for my verb, and then I'm going to have to have a space for my direct object, which is going to have to go up on a tree. So let's say that my verb is could understand. I have to drop the word not underneath here because not is not really part of my verb. We learned that from our verb strings. Alani is my subject. And the sentence, the names in your sentences may be different, but the point is the same. Once I get up here, I'm going to make my clause. And remember, that's the reason I'm up here is I'm, I'm actually, I have a noun clause. So I should have a place for a subject and a verb. I can see seemed as my verb. I know I usually do two different colors. I'm just going to simplify for myself and do one color. So here's seemed as my verb. Cooper is going to be my subject. Once again, their names might be different. Cooper seemed. And seemed is a linking verb. So Cooper seemed, and I'm going to link to either a noun or an adjective, and he seemed adjective oblivious. And so he seemed oblivious to smell. He's oblivious to smell. It's Mr. Marsh's smell. I won't take offense to that. And then it is a baloney smell. <laughs> and then I'm left with this word how, which is an adverb. So the adverb should touch the verb of my noun clause, not the verb down here. So the word how should sit underneath here. All right, so if I was going to label the pattern of this sentence, I'm going to label it as the subject, action verb, direct object. This is a pattern seven. Now I know in our textbook, the author oftentimes will make, will make comments about, you know, this is a pattern for noun clause. And she'll make these comments about this, a pattern for gerund phrase. Like, I don't care. I, I don't care what this thing is up here. I want you to see the main sentence, which is Alani could understand direct object, because that explains why I'm going to punctuate it the way it's being punctuated. All right, down here. Perfect. All right, let's continue on.